My name is Helen English. I'm a language teacher at Manupas Primary School and I'm the international coordinator. This is a secondary school, just over 1,000 students. We teach all classes from first year up to sixth year. My job involves working with the international students, uh, making sure they're set up with their English language support classes and also inviting them to take part in international projects. We do really like to celebrate our multilingualism and our multiculturalism in the school. We have in and around 50 nationalities represented in the school and uh, as many languages as well. Last year, because we were on lockdown, we couldn't have our International Day. This was the first time in over 15 years that we weren't able to celebrate that here on school. So I thought, well, perhaps we could do something online. And I checked on the e-training portal and I found a teacher in Spain who was looking for partner schools to join her in celebrating diversity of languages and cultures. We had well over 80 students taking part, um, all in international teams working away together. Our project's name was International Mother Language Day. Um, I represented the Philippines and Ireland and we basically met up and communicated with different students from around Europe. So I talked to people from Italy, from Spain. I represented Russia, Moldova and Ireland. So we could share our stereotypes, languages, um, cultures. It was a bit daunting being with other countries where they knew at least two languages fluently but it was really, really cool to learn about different languages. We translated the song We Are The Champions, the chorus of it, into Irish. I enjoyed uh, meeting new people from other countries and their cultures and how they explain it and everything. Meeting people that are your age and just connecting, even if like, you know, there might be a little bit of a language barrier, but it doesn't matter if you're like getting on well, you know? It's really when everyone started talking about their own country, you kind of feel how proud they were and how like, how much they love their language. The name of the e-twinning project that I did was the Conference on the Future of Europe. I was working with people that were my age, just in different countries. Um, it was seeing how they live. They were just the same as me, but just in a different school, in a different country. I've been involved with e-twinning for a couple of years. I think it's a fabulous platform for international collaboration. Um, it's so easy to find partner schools, everybody wanting to, to, to link up and connect their students and there's such a wide variety of possible projects. There's such a huge wealth of expertise internationally as well and you know the parts of um, maybe the platform that I'm not too familiar with, my partners will, will sort that out and likewise I'll help with some other areas maybe that, so it, it all works really really well and it's just fantastic to have a European platform that allows us to do this kind of um, collaborative work. We're spreading the news about e twinning We're really trying to, to, to build up and strengthen that international dimension in education. It's a fantastic way to enrich the learning environment of students. It really just brings Europe directly into our classrooms and um, it really opens them up to the world and, and all that is really beautiful and diverse We've all upskilled over the last two years in terms of digital expertise. And so these things um, that might have been a bit daunting before are much, much less daunting. Our colleagues um, in, in the other partner schools are always there to help. There's just so much sharing and, um, and our students, of course, having a lot of fun, which is really important too.